Hello everybody, so in this video we're learning about this awesome new tool I recently came across to called Vectorshift.ai and trust me, it's one of the game changers. Let's explore this further. So this is Vectorshift's dashboard, there's a pipeline section, basically projects or flows called pipelines in Vectorshift. The thing that set this tool really apart from the crowd is the storage i.e. knowledge base section. I know there are many tools out there, you can, uh, you can have different types of knowledge bases, but the one that Vectorshift offers is really cutting edge. So if I go and I just type a new KB, this is where you can add documents, loader type like file, URL, recursive URL, Wikipedia, etc. But if I click on integration, you can integrate your entire database and use it as a knowledge base. And it indexed and stored in a vector database in the backend within this tool, which is pretty awesome. So you can see there are a lot of different options available and it's only increasing. Um, I have already connected my Airtable. The connection is super straightforward. You just uh, authenticate and uh, select the base and you can also query the entire base that's really interesting so if I go and if I go back and in my inter in, uh, in my storage section this is my air table and vector counts uh, let's go and see this in action I go back to the pipeline section create a, create a pipeline so the build environment is really similar it's a drag and drop you can add nodes by just clicking on from the this upper tab so i add one input and an output node i also llm node and open ai you can see all different models i'm going to go with gpt4 i also want to add the knowledge base so you can if i click on this node then here you can see all your different knowledge bases so i'm going to select airtable uh, so we have our knowledge base reader, Airtable. If I click on edit knowledge base, you can see like the number of vectors loaded and status. Let's do some setup. Let's give it a system message. So for a system, we just say you have access to an Airtable base with e-commerce sales and product data. Your job is to answer user message based on Airtable data. And in the prompt section, like we need to provide the variables. So one is going to be double curly brace user message and then double curly brace so user message going to be input and our data is from Airtable we also need to give query to the vector database and it goes to the output this is our setup. We have the knowledge, knowledge base reader, Airtable, we integrated. We have the input or the user question and LLM and an output. Couldn't be simpler. Let's actually go ahead and have a look at the Airtable database. So this is the base we provided for the language model in the pipeline. You can see this is a products database and in a different table, we have customer database. These are dummy e-commerce data. And let's go back to the product database and let's see let's ask a question like from the description let's ask what product is good to blow away dust something like that so let's go back to pipeline if i want to test this i just click run we can expand this window uh, pretty awesome as you can see it returned with two items so if I go and if I just search for this item let's just see if it's the right item it should be 999 so if I go here and search yes this is the item it suggested and also there is another one but let's go to the different table and ask for example what is this person's uh, order status so let's go back here
processing and honestly guys this is awesome this is beyond awesome the accuracy the speed and just the ease of setup and an Airtable with the popularity that Airtable has this makes it exceptional very easy to set up um, that's it for today's video and see you in the next one